Peter Del Pena here with USA Women's Under-19 and hopefully soon to be senior team player, Snake DePaul, named player of the tournament here at the 2022 USA Women's National Championship. Congratulations on that award. Thank you. How does it feel? It feels amazing because as a U19 player, it's my dream to come into the senior women's team and being able to put on a performance in the women's nationals is a big confidence booster that I can make it to the next level. You finished with the only half century in the tournament today, 52 off 66 balls, and you also finished tied for second with five wickets overall, including two more today. The pitch looked tricky at times and other times it looked quite easy to score depending on who was out there. From your perspective, how did you feel it was first from a batting perspective? From a batting perspective today, I think it was easier than before. Like the games that we played with the first two games that we played, it was definitely a difficult pitch in matter of scoring in the bounce. But today it was definitely easier, but there were a few bowlers that were able to use the pitch cracks and like get some quality turn. So that part was difficult. What was the key to success for you then being able to score as effectively as you did today? I think it was the communication with my partner, being able to get those singles, like quick singles, hitting it straight to the fielder and being able to take single, that was the key part. And then from a bowling perspective, again, tied for second in wickets on the week. So it wasn't just today that you had success, but across the, the different pitches that were prepared. What do you feel made you so effective compared to some of the other players? I think it was the line and length and knowing where the cracks and where the proper line and length would affect the batters, like specific batters, some can play certain lengths, some can't, and knowing that knowledge, I think that was very helpful in that matter. Coming off the tour to Trinidad where you did so well and you top scored, you had the best innings score for USA of any of the matches down in Trinidad on that tour and you probably should have scored a century if the rain didn't come <laughs> and disrupt things. but. The confidence coming off of that tour and just the performances that you were able to have on that tour being with the USA Under-19 team, what did you get out of that experience that allowed you to, whether from a confidence standpoint or just from a skills standpoint, allow you to come in and perform the way you did this week? Um, it definitely allowed me to know where I am in the matter of international cricket, like where my skill sets are, and in playing that innings helped my team believe in me that I can help them take them for the win, and that belief helped me play here for them again. You are 15, about to turn 16 later this month. Mm -hmm. For somebody who is only 15 and being one of the youngest players here, around a lot of other senior players who have played for USA. Why do you feel you were able to perform in the way you did it in the face of the competition that is a lot more experienced than you? I think it's because of the opportunities, because like, um, we get to play with a lot of men's cricket and not being able to play with women a lot. So playing, playing with men's adult league, that's helped me stay at a women's standard, not just under 19. And because of that, I was able to play with the women this year. You're based in Dallas. What should people know about the women's cricket scene in Dallas and the development opportunities in Dallas that have allowed you to get to the point where you are today? Um, our community is very supportive. They have like encouraged us and they're very proud of our few girls that have made it to the national team and then they keep on supporting us. Anything that comes out, they're like, let's go, it's our girls from Dallas and they're really supportive about it. What goals and ambitions do you have if, if you do get the opportunity to represent USA, whether it's again at under 19 level against the West Indies coming up next week or in September for the squad that's picked to go to the UAE for the women's T20 qualifier. What do you want USA fans and other people who may be watching and taking an interest in US cricket to know about you and what you bring to the table as somebody who could be a new arrival into the USA team? I think I just want them to know that I want you, I want to be a great, like I want to help USA win and like eventually become champions in the World Cup. And I think, I know a lot of people around the world don't believe that, thinking that we're not a cricketing nation, we don't know how to play, but we don't know how to play, but I think that will help us, believe, like make everyone believe that we can play. 
why do you believe that you can play and you can stand up to these other teams around the world? I just, I, my teammates, I, it's just, I think they have helped me believe that I can do it. They believe in me more than I do in myself. Now for people who don't know, you're also not just a cricketer. You play varsity softball back in Dallas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how much of an impact in terms of your overall skills development and athleticism do you think cricket has had on your softball and conversely softball has had on your cricket? Um, softball definitely had a big impact in my cricket and fielding wise because being able to move at the certain angles and like fielding drills has helped me become a better fielder in cricket and my batting skills in cricket has helped me like be become a lead off in softball get those quality key hits in so they're both hand in hand and help me with each other. What would you say to any other girls out there who are playing softball, whether it's at high school level like yourself, or soft, uh, softball in college, or anywhere else for that matter, who might see you and think cricket's worth giving a shot to as well? I just want them to give a shot, because I know a lot of people that I've talked to, they think it's very complicated in the rules-wise, and I think as you play, it'll get easier, so just play. Just get in, and I think you'll do good. Anything else you want to say about this tournament experience here in Texas over the course of the last two weeks, both at regionals and at the national championship? I think it was a great experience uh, being able to play with so many women's, uh, U.S. or women's players and being able to get into that guidance and like help. That was amazing and being able to like showcase my skills was amazing. Snake DePaul, player of the tournament here at the 2022 USA Cricket Women's National Championships. Again, congratulations. Thank you.